everybody welcome back it's your host classic plastic 918 with another unboxing video i know it's been a while i've been super busy lately but i've still been getting in some uh new uh pieces for my collection so um wanted to take a moment to make a quick video for you guys show you something really special um this piece I've been looking for for a while, so just wanted to uh, share this with you guys really quickly. So let's get it open, okay. So this piece I've been waiting for for a while, and I wanted to share this experience with you guys. Um, it's actually a super plastic, uh, janky piece um, that I had my own for a while. But I finally decided to pull the trigger and uh, pick this one up. So without further ado, let's take a look at the box, shall we? So there's your typical janky series one. Uh, I think it's a three and a half inch figure box. Nothing really special there. I think you guys have seen a couple of these that I've opened before. But it's what's inside this box that's uh, really special and really important. Uh, it's what I wanted to share with you guys, so I'll give you a little bit of a tease before I do my big reveal. So it's going to be one of the figures that you see on this side of the box, but I won't tell you which one. Um, if you follow the channel for any length of time, you probably already know which one it is, and uh, or you could kind of figure it out from process of elimination because you've seen the uh, the other figures that I have in my collection. So without further ado, let's open the box. And there it is, guys. One of the most special of all of the uh, super plastic uh, janky figures. It's the uh, Lotus Janky by Junko Mizuno, one of my favorite artists, which like I said, if you guys follow the channel um, you know that already and um, this is definitely one of the grail pieces that I was hoping to add to my collection and I finally have it so I feel really good about that um, overall I mean it's just as uh, impressive in person as it is in pictures and Again, it's one of the pieces that I've been looking forward to collecting and adding to my collection for a while. So really, really excited and happy to have this uh, Junko Mizuno Lotus piece for my collection. And there you can see the back and it's just as in intricate as the front. Um, lots of great details there. One of my favorite aspects of this particular uh, janky is the fact that um, she's got the uh, the six arms there I mean that's just super unique and really really cool great feature to have on the uh, piece and you also see the uh, the little uh, tooth fairy or the little tooth accessory there on the side so that's also awesome so there you have it it's the uh, Junko Mizuno Lotus figurine and um, yeah, it's definitely uh, going to be uh, one of the gems of my collection. Really, really like this piece and um, glad I was able to get it. Um, speaking of Junko Mizuno, um, she recently did a commission or she recently did a uh, series for uh, Kid Robot um, that I think it's called uh, the uh, La Flame uh, Dunny series. Um, in case you guys haven't seen that, it's a somewhat limited um, series. Um, it came out in three variants, with um, the first one being a, uh, a green, and then they also had a, um, I think, like a blackish red. Uh, kind of like a purple, very similar to the uh, the Lotus. And then um, they also came out with like an ice version. And um, 
the green, of course, was the uh, most produced. I think they had about a thousand pieces. Uh, the black, I think they had maybe half that. And the ice, I think, was around 200, 250. So um, just in case you haven't seen what those look like, I want to show you something really, really quickly. So hold on. So this one obviously is a much larger box. This one I ordered directly from Kid Robot. Um, so let's see what kind of packing job they did. So fairly sparsely packaged, but wow. There you can see the uh, contents and it is the uh, La Flame Dunny um, by Junko Mizuno. Like I said, this one should be the, uh, the black variant. And um, yeah, somewhat limited. I was pretty fortunate to be able to get the, uh, pick this one up and I actually picked up all three of them. So um, I may have one that I can open to show you guys. I may do an unboxing video with one. Um, and that way you can kind of see them. Maybe I'll do an unboxing video with all three so you can see the three different colorways side by side. Uh, but this one currently is in mint condition. It's still in the plastic wrap. So unfortunately you won't get a lot of detail other than just the uh, the box. But it's a great looking, uh, great looking box so far, I think. And just so that you get a sense of scale, you can see the uh, size of the uh, dunny box versus the uh, box for the, uh, the janky. So... Um, huge 8 inch dunny great great packaging and design and um, again I'm just really impressed I like the uh, the fact that Kid Robot actually does some pretty cool stuff with their uh, packaging and their design so overall just um, it's a really great piece so and there they are side by side, so you can kind of see the difference in size between the two boxes. And again, there's the back of the box or the front, depending on how you look at it. But just great design, very intricate. Junko Mizuno is one of my favorite artists, so really happy to have this piece. And like I said, I'll be doing a uh, full unboxing video once the other uh, colorways come in. I like to do them all together so that way you can kind of see them side by side and compare and contrast them. But for now, that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe and leave your comments below. And there you can see this is the uh, the Flame 8 inch Dunny by Junko Mizuno in the black color variant, which again was a very super limited uh, Kid Robot exclusive variation on the uh, on the La Flame Dunny. So, overall, great concept, great execution, beautiful piece. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one.